beside of that the effect of the foreign exchange risk will also influence the investment that has been made overseas let's say one company where the currency during that time is one US dollar equal to 3.80 okay let's say this is the situation of their currency during that time and this particular company company A for example they invest US dollar 100,000 to an investment in another country okay in this situation where US dollar is 100,000 and the currency is US1 equal to 3.80 which means that the value of the investment is 380,000 all right let's see after one year the investment has been increased by 10 percent okay which means the US dollar 100,000 now has changed to US dollar 110,000 okay and if we rely on this and the original currency that we have we expect that the company will have a value of the investment of 418,000 nevertheless if for example during this time one year later of 10% increase the currency has a fact where the rate of the currency of the ringgit has reduced to 3.30 for example this amount of investment US dollar 110 the value is just only 363,000 which is much lower than what they already invested in the first place all right so in this situation the company actually faced the loss from the investment of 17,000 where if we minus 380,000 with 263,000 we can get this 70 17,000 loss from the investment all right now we look at the last type of risk that is political risk political risk really affect the investment and the stability of the economy as well as the confidence of the investor if the company is having bad or suffering from political instability okay then the investors will be afraid to invest in that particular country anything happen related to the politics for example change of the government uh, all of this will actually reduce or affect the confidence of the investor therefore uh, in a country the political system should be uh, stable should be strong the government should be strong for us to stimulate a good economy in respect to the political risk, another factor that we should consider is about the location of the investment. In this instance, it is important for the financial planner to acknowledge and take a notice that they should not invest in a third world country, which having higher tendency for political instability so this is something that financial planners should avoid now we are going to look at what does it mean by uncertainty uncertainty is actually a frame of mind filled with reservation because of lack of information something that um, you are not sure what will happen in future okay so in understanding about uh, this it is important for us to know about the classification of risk risk can be divided into two the first one is the objective risk which means it is a real risk and the second one is the subjective risk which is actually the perceived risk it is a perception and it is not necessarily a true risk as i already explained to you before risk can be divided into two types the first one is the objective risk which is a real risk and the second one is the subjective risk which is actually the perception of an individual towards situation it is not real and the individual perception of risk actually can be influenced by many factors which includes belief past experience value or system the government uh, the governance system in that particular country uh, whatever happened around us that is actually something that has developed the 
individual perception of the risk at the back of our mind or we call it as in our subconscious mind. Alright, now we're going to look at what does it mean by risk behavior. Risk behavior is actually the unique set of attitude. How actually in an individual respond to a certain situation. And this response will be different between one individual and another. And it has been influenced by many things that I already said before and we're going to look at in detail. But in general, in regards to risk behavior, we can actually classify an individual into three set of risk behavior. Number one is risk seeking, risk indifferent and risk averting. Risk-seeking is actually an individual who is able to manage uncertainty in their life. They are able to control uncertainty at certain level. And this normally suitable for a successful business owner who they must be a risk-seeker in order to be successful in their business. The second category of risk is what we call as risk indifferent, where this is someone who actually don't care about risk. His attitude is like who care what attitude toward risk. The third one is risk averting, who actually afraid of fear of risk. This individual, they tend to uh, think that risk as actually is as a threat. Yeah? And they don't like uh, uncertainty. They don't like uncertain situation because they're really afraid of loss and they tend to be someone pessimist, not optimist. Okay, now we are going to look at what are the factors that affect rational thinking. An individual, we already explained before, it depends on what is recorded in the subconscious mind for them to make a decision, for them to respond to a situation. And this actually different between one individual and another because different individuals, they have been developed uh, by the different types of environment compared to another individual. Our surrounding, our environment, our system, our religion, family, culture, it will develop our bounded rationality. And this bounded rationality is actually some kind of, of some kind like of a compilation of knowledge of rational thinking, emotion, and values that we have in our life, and it will derive our action and behavior, how we respond to a certain situation. In ethics class, you already learn about what actually influenced the individual ethical principle. So it's not that much different as compared to in this uh, course, where in order for us to understand the bounded rationality in the terms of investment, for example, in the terms of um, financial planning, we can see that religion is one of the most important factors. For example, as a Muslim, they must avoid non-haram business the business related to pork, liquor, cigarette, and any other business related to interest or riba, they should avoid it. Therefore, their decision mainly related to the relig religion that they're tied in.